Moving to the Boston suburbs and getting to know the town of Weymouth. Weymouth is a suburb located just south of Boston. And in this video, we're going to talk about the different areas that make up Weymouth and what this town has to offer from restaurants to schools to green space and neighborhoods. I've included it all, or at least tried to. If I miss anything, or if you have any questions, then always feel free to reach out or throw a comment in the comments section below. When people talk about the South Shore, then Weymouth would be a community, well, that would be in that conversation. Today, the town is a thriving community with a population of about 55,000 people. It's a popular community among folks looking to live in a suburb, but still wanting to be close to Boston. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses, and I'm one of the state's top agents. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And if you're wanting to talk about your own personal real estate goals, and you can contact me, I invite you to. All of my contact information is in the description below. But what makes Weymouth so great is that despite its close proximity to Boston, it has a small town feel with a strong sense of community. There are many local events and festivals throughout the year that make residents proud to call Weymouth their home and add to their high quality of life. Weymouth has a number of notable landmarks and points of interest. The town is home to the West Augusta Beach, which is a popular spot for swimming and sunbathing. It offers a sandy beach, walking trails, and a playground, while having beautiful views of the ocean and the Boston skyline. Now, the Weymouth Back River is also a popular destination for boating and fishing. The town is home to a number of parks and conservation areas, including the Great Esker Park, as well as the Wildlands Trust. Now, another great place to know about is the Webb Memorial State Park, which is about a half mile long. It's a great spot to look at the Boston Harbor and the Boston skyline. There's also Legion Field, which has a variety of sports fields, courts, and facilities, including several soccer fields, a baseball diamond, and basketball and tennis courts. Weymouth also offers other recreational facilities, including the Weymouth Club, which is a fitness center and swimming pool with a variety of classes and activities, as well as the Weymouth Skating Rink, which offers public skating sessions and lessons. With all of those resources, it's easy to fall in love with Weymouth. But let's talk about commuting from Weymouth to Boston. When it comes to a Boston suburb, well, Weymouth would be one of the more convenient suburbs around Boston. Weymouth is serviced by public transportation options as well as a major highway that well, kind of cuts through Weymouth. If traveling to Boston by car is in your plans, then you would ultimately use Bruce 3, which connects to I-93, or just jump directly on 93, which takes you straight into Boston. Other service roads that connect Weymouth to Boston is Route 18 and 139, and the drive from Weymouth to Boston typically takes about 30 minutes, depending on traffic. Sorry, I gotta reiterate this one. Depending on traffic. Another commuting option is by utilizing the several bus routes as well as the commuter route, which is a stop at the Weymouth Landing, which is located in the town center. Now, the commuter rail will drop you at South Station, where you can jump on the red line, which will take you to all the other lines throughout Boston. Overall, commuting from Weymouth to Boston, it's relatively convenient, especially when compared to other towns on the South Shore. Now, there are four major neighborhoods in Weymouth. You got South Weymouth, you got East Weymouth, you got North Weymouth. What do you think the last one is? <laughs> gotcha. It's Weymouth Landing. So South Weymouth is a neighborhood located in the southern part of the town and is known for its easy access to the highway and the South Shore Hospital. Now, the neighborhood is conveniently located near major transportation routes, including Route 18. Now, the neighborhood is also close to a number of parks and recreational facilities, including the Union Point Sports Complex and the Whitman's Ponds Conservation Area. Now, the development of Union Point offers to be some very exciting possibilities for South Weymouth. East Weymouth is a neighborhood that is located in, well, the eastern part of the town and is home to a number of parks and recreational areas. Now, the neighborhood is conveniently located near major transportation routes, including Route 3. It is a vibrant neighborhood with a mix of housing options and a convenient location. It's a great option for people who want the convenience of being close to Boston while also enjoying the suburban neighborhood feel. North Weymouth is a neighborhood located in the northern part of the town and is known for its close proximity to the harbor and the beach. It's an oceanfront community of approximately 9,000 residents with nearly 10 miles of coastline. Originally, this was a summer community that turned into a year-long community. Many of the houses still resemble summer cottages and bungalows of the past. 
Now, Weymouth Landing, it's a neighborhood in the western part of the town and is known for its easy access to the commuter rail as well as Main Street. The landing's gone through a recent revitalization, which has changed this neighborhood dramatically in the last, eh, it's called decade or so. It now is a vibrant area that supports a commuter rail spot, a unique waterfront, and a bustling area with mixed-use development. Let's talk schools in Weymouth. The Weymouth Public School System operates one preschool, eight primary schools, one middle school, and one high school. Public School Review has the Weymouth School System servicing 5,585 students with a teacher-to-student ratio of 1 to 13. Now, the graduation rate is 85% with the overall district rank in the bottom 50%. Math proficiency was at 44% and reading proficiency was at 50%, which put both in the bottom 50% of systems in Massachusetts. Do keep in mind that Massachusetts has some of the best public schools in the country. Let's talk Weymouth High School. According to U.S. News, Weymouth was ranked 202nd within Massachusetts and 129th in the Boston Mass metro area with high schools. Boston Magazine has them ranked as 104th with an average class size of 15.4 students. The graduation rate, according to Boston Magazine, was 90.4%. There are also a couple private schools in Weymouth. You got South Shore Montessori School and, say, Francis Xavier School. They come to mind. Let's talk housing. It's my favorite thing to talk about, but admittedly, I'm a little biased. So the housing market in Weymouth is diverse, with many options available to home buyers as well as renters. From single-family homes to rental apartments to condos as well as townhouses to multifamily properties, the town, eh, well, offers it all. The most prominent housing category is by far single-family homes, with many of the neighborhoods offering the picturesque tree-lined street environment that people just love. While condos may fall in the single-family shadow, they shouldn't. There are quite a few options, with a lot of them being newer buildings offering its residents many amenities. You can also find a lot of these newer rental buildings in Weymouth Landing neighborhood as well. Now, because prices tend to change, I felt it best to put the average sales price in the description section below. This way, I can update them from time to time. Okay, so on to restaurants and some things to do in Weymouth. Now, if you're looking to grab the old irons, then you might want to head to Weather Vane Golf Club that opened in 2010. It is a nine-hole golf course that is open to the public and has a 55-plus community development around it. May we refer to it as the South Shore's best kept secret. If history is your thing, then you may want to go and check out the Abigail Adams birthplace. Sticking with history, there's also the U.S. Naval Shipbuilding Museum and USS Salem, which technically is in Quincy, but it's right over the line on the Four River Bridge. There's a Weymouth Farmer's Market at the parking lot of the Weymouth High School every Sunday from mid-June to the start of October. And the farmer's market has the groceries that you'd expect, but also has a range of craft vendors. Then there's the Barrel House Z, which is a craft brewery that makes small batch beers aged in barrels previously used for liquors like bourbon, whiskey, gin, and tequila. Speaking of craft brewing, you may also want to check out Vitamin C Brewing. They have 12 taps covering a wide range of styles from IPAs to stouts and even cold brewed coffee. Now, some notable restaurants that you may want to check out are the Union Brew House, Santa Fe Burrito Grill, and then there's Cupcake Mojo. I could blame a couple pounds down here around my waist on that place. It is awesome. I love that place. So to get down to brass tacks, what is Weymouth all about? It's about living in a Boston suburb that is pretty darn close to the city that gives residents one of the better South Shore communities. It's about claiming your little piece of suburbia and wanting something that is affordable while getting that suburbia feel. It's also about knowing that what many would consider being a civilization is, well, close by. And by the way, when I say affordable, I mean Boston affordable. The prices are nosebleed high compared to other parts of the country, but compared to other close-by areas, let's say Milton is an example, they seem like an exceptional value. And if you're thinking about buying or selling in Weymouth and looking for a Weymouth realtor, then I would love the opportunity to chat with you. You can reach me by finding all of my contact information in the description below, or you can visit YouTubeRealEstateAgent.com. Just fill in your information, and then I'm going to reach out to you. Until next time.